Hello and welcome to Nicholas Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be about bioinformatics and this is going to be my first video in bioinformatics playlist. So many more would follow. And today's problem is compared to sequences using dot matrix or diagram method. And here is the two sequences. So uh, this is actually very easy to solve this problem if you know how to build a Punnett square. So the same principle applies here. And uh, for example, on the top we would put this sequence. So this is going to be A, G, C, T, A, G, G, A. And on the side we would put the second sequence. So G, A, C, T, a, G, G, and C. And now we just built a table. So we would make rows and columns. So this is pretty the same as in Punnett square, but uh, sequence here is much bigger than usually you can see in the simple Mendelian genetics where we make a Punnett square that is 2x2 um, or 4x4. Four four. So uh, in bioinformatics of course we work with uh, sequences that is hundreds, thousands and millions of base pairs that we have to compare. So this is just a small uh, representation of what's going on on the big scale. So, as you see, now we have to compare um, nucleotides on top and on the sides. For example, here on the side we have G and on top we have A. So, here we can put uh, zero or just leave a blank space because we don't have coincidence. Let's analyze this square. Here we have G and G on top. So let's put a dot here. So next we have G and C. So blank space, blank space here, here, and here. Once again we have G here and G here. So once again let's put a dot here and a dot here. So we would put a dot everywhere where we have the same letters that come from the side and from the top. So as you see, everywhere here, we put dot. So the same we do with the second row. So we have here, here, and here. Uh, next row we have uh, here, and that's it. Next row we have here, and that's it. Next row here, here, and here. Next row would be here, here and here. And next row once again would be here, here and here. And the last row would be dot here and that's it. So now we have built a dot matrix diagram and uh, now we can say that uh, if we would have uh, full coincidence of the same uh, nucleotides here and here, we would have all the dots that would be in the middle here. So we would have dots that would be in the row that I highlighted. And as you see we have a few dots that we can find here in this row. So we can connect these dots and now we can do many different computations. For example, in the ideal situation we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, coincidences of the same letters. But here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 out of 8 
coincidences of the letters on both strands of the uh, DNA. And now we can compare this sequence and numbers that we got. For example, if we would have the third sequence, we, would, we can say which one has more homology. Before 1970s, such type of computation were made manually because there was not too much uh, information and sequences uh, by that time. And usually uh, scientists can only sequence few nucleotides a day. But, but later with accumulation of the information of the sequences and with uh, help of computers, it become much easier to compare sequences using computer power. And this method become one of the first algorithms how two sequences were compared to each other or how uh, much homology between two sequences. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.